I'm in Google Drive right now. I'm going to make a new sheet, new Google Sheets. And I'm going to make sure it has a clear name. So I'll double click on Untitled Spreadsheet and make sure I rename it right away so I can find it quickly. And also the teacher will know exactly who it belongs to. Course name. project name and my own name. So uh, usually for say financial statements we want to have a clear heading at the top and they usually follow the format of the company name, the name of the financial statement and the date. So for example, you know, Amazon um, balance sheet in caps November 2018 underneath or as of November 30th 2018 underneath. So we'll, you know, set that up um, you know, I'm going to take the first six rows, format, merge cells, merge horizontally, and then put our group name as a group project. The next one, select the second row, format, merge cells, merge horizontally, travel, budget, and do the same thing for the third row, merge, merge horizontally. And I'll also, you know, just select center, and they will all be centered, you know, and then um, that'll kind of be a good start to any uh, our financial document. Kind of might worth be worth it to, you know, indent some things in place. We have like, you know, a heading and a subtopic, like maybe sightseeing, and then we want to divide it into, you know, smaller trips. Uh, so I'm going to put my cursor in between A and B, and you know, just you know, have that set up at about a quarter of an inch. And B, you might, I might want that to be a little, you know, bigger. So I'm going to drag it so it's a bit wider, uh, just uh, in case, um, you know, the name is a little longer. So I might have, you know, my first item might be uh, travel costs. I might have hotel or Airbnb or accommodation or whatever it is. And, uh, you know, I'll put that in here, you know, uh, and then there's a reason that I've selected D instead of, you know, C, uh, and you'll see in a second, and, you know, put the hotel in there, and one thing that I'll do is I'm going to select the cells where the numbers will appear, and then I'm going to change the format, so, you know, it'll look a little neater if they're all, you know, in the same format, you know, uh, in case of, you know, rounding, you know, uh, what I'll just do is um, number, you can select accounting. Uh, financial would also work. In accounting, you only really need the dollar sign in the, the leading row, but uh, you can put it in every row you know, the things that you want. And uh, let's say, you know, I, um, I, I'll i show you why I have the middle row. Uh, I might want to, you know, like a subtotal. So I might have food as one of my expenses. And, you know, I might, you know, have a budget for breakfasts, uh, lunches, Dinners or whoever it's broken down, and uh, you know, I uh, just put in the numbers here. You know, uh, these are the numbers I haven't checked this at all or haven't comparison shopped, but just to put numbers in. And uh, what I'll do is I'll use a formula, and the formulas work just as they do in Excel. So, a good one, you know, any mathematical operation works, but sum and then select a range of cells, drag your cursor. Uh, with the le uh, left mouse button, close the bracket, and then it'll add it up for you. Um, now I'm going to name this cell Travel Budget, this sheet Travel Budget. Uh, it might come in handy to have multiple sheets. You know, you might have, you know, a smaller, you know, sub, you know, statement, you know, uh, and I'm going to press the little plus side, add a sheet, and I'll just put sightseeing here. You know, if you have, you know, lots of different sightseeing items with, you know, fees and uh, costs or whatever, and I'll just, you know, make a quick table, and, you know, I'll put a uh, name, and I'll put cost, and then uh, I'm just going to select this one here, and I'm going to select format, number, accounting, and let's put a quick, quick, you know, I'll pretend I'm going to Toronto, because uh, I think of some easy things. Brush up on my Toronto history. All right, so I have entered some items in here. Uh, 
I'm going to use a formula again to total them all up. Equal sum. Select everything. And the benefit of doing it this way is, you know, if I turned out, I, I looked it up and I had the wrong price, or I wanted to add something, you know, I'd be able to do that. And you know, let's see what would happen if I, let's say, I decided to insert a row here. I want to insert, you know, an extra um, item. And it's already updated my, my formula without having to pull up the calculator again. Let's make it a bit of more of a financial looking document, a little detail. You're going to add a bottom row to this one, kind of in indicating that we're going to be totaling things up. And then for this cell here, I'm going to select you know, a double line. And then I'm going to select the bottom row. And you know, this kind of ends the, means it's the end of the total. And uh, you know, so a total, and then this will be the end of the statement so the person knows they can they, uh, nothing below it. So I see, okay, that uh, looks like that is B10, where that total is. shows the uh, utility of, of that, that uh, the link function, because it would be cumbersome to list all the sightseeing attractions in here. You know, maybe you might have, you know, a lot of, like, entry fees or, or transit passes or something, like, you know, stuff to get in. So what we'll do is I will put my, my cursor here, equal, and then the name of the sheet, exactly as it's written in the, in the tab here. So sightseeing and exclamation mark. So it won't Google Sheets knows it's a sheet. And then that was cell B10 that I wanted. I see the lights up yellow. I know I've entered the formula. And then they have one more item, you know, make sure these are based on realistic estimates, you know, uh, by, by, by looking up the cost of transit or, you know, whatever it is, put it in there. And, uh, you know, let's total up, you know, all of the items again. So I'm gonna select some. Do, 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 do. and uh, then close the bracket and then again you know I'm gonna you know put a little bit of a bottom border make sure I select the single line to indicate that there is a total and then uh, I'm going to put the double line to uh, indicate this is a finished uh, statement and so you know I need something like this you know, uh, just to make sure, I'm going to, uh, that it like, looks nice, I'm going to just do a quick print preview, you know, okay, yeah, it all fits in there. Sometimes, you know, you end up making it too wide, but this is going to fit nicely on one page. 